Hello friends, welcome to the video series on Oracle Date and Related Functionality. In this video, we are going to learn about what is day to second interval data type. This video is a continuation of the previous video. In the previous video, I have already covered about what is interval data type and what is year to month data type. In this video, we are going to see specifically about day to second data type. I would suggest you to watch the previous video for a better understanding on what is interval data type and what is year to month. Let us focus on the day to second in this video, but just to give you a quick introduction about what is interval data type and what is year to month and day to second. Basically, the interval data type will help us to store the duration of two time period. Until Oracle 23C, Oracle provide two data types. One is interval year to month and another one is interval day to second. Interval year to month will help us to store the duration in terms of year and month. If you want to store the duration in much granular manner, uh, then we can use the interval day to second. Interval day to second will help us to store the duration in terms of days, hours, minutes and seconds. Now let us see few examples where exactly these two interval data types will be helpful. Interval year to month will be helpful to store a larger duration. For example, the duration of a service in an organization, the duration of a course or a duration of a project, the rental agreement duration or the duration of a loan tenure or the subscription duration. In these cases, the duration will be quite large and then we generally store in terms of the number of years and month. In these cases, interval year to month will be very helpful. But whenever the duration is very small, then we can use the interval day to second. Let us see a few examples. The employee shift duration, the project time allocation, service level agreement, the event duration, how much time a event took, or the task execution time, how much time a meeting went, or what is the duration of a call, how much time the production went down, how much time a user spent time in video game, how much time a user spent time in a website, what is the duration of a stock market, and how much time a particular sport even took. So in all these cases, the duration is actually very small then we can use the interval day to second data type. Now let us see how to define the day to second data type variable and how to represent a literal value for day to second. So here is the documentation from Oracle to understand how to represent a interval day to second. To define any variable of interval day to second, we need to just say interval day followed by an optional day precision. If you are not specifying anything, the default is to Otherwise, we need to specify a specific number as the duration. That means we can say a maximum duration of two digits, that is 99 days. If we want to store more than 99 days of duration, then we need to represent a precision here. And followed by two second, followed by an optional fractional second precision. The default fractional second is six. If you want to represent more than that, we can specify a value. The accepted values are zero to nine. Now let us see how to represent a literal value in terms of interval day to second. So here is the syntax to represent a literal value. We need to say the keyword interval followed by a single quote and then followed by the value or the duration value which we want to represent followed by a single quote. Now whatever the duration we represented here is nothing but the duration of either in a day format or day hour format or day hour minute our day, hour, minute and second. That is what we are just going to represent following by this single keyword. We will see with an example a bit later. But before that, I just want to show you that the interval can be represented in multiple ways. If you want to store the interval in terms of just day or day and hour duration or we want to represent a duration in terms of day, hour and minute or we want to represent a duration in terms of a day, hour, minute and second. In those cases, we can use these format like either like day or day to hour or day to minute or day to second. If our duration is much smaller or much lesser than a day, then we generally represent in terms of hours only. Then we can represent either in terms of hour or hour and minute or hour, minute and second. In those cases, we need to represent as a hour or hour to minute or hour to second. If our duration is even lesser than an hour and if I want to represent only in terms of a minute or minute and second, we need to represent it like this, either a minute or minute to second. And finally, if our duration is even lesser than a minute and I want to represent only 
in terms of a second or in terms of fractional second we can represent as either second or fractional second let us see example for each one of these cases in a while let's see how to represent a literal value in terms of interval day to second let's say i want to represent a 10 days as a duration then let's say select interval followed by single quote 10 single quote then let's say day from duel so here what we are saying is it is a duration of 10 day 0 hour 0 minute 0 second and 0 fractional second suppose if i want to represent in terms of 100 days then it will throw an error because as i already told the default precision of a day is 2 whenever we want to represent a duration more than 99 days we need to mention the precision here let me say 3 so now i am representing 100 days 0 hour 0 minute and 0 second and 0 fractional second now let us say i want to represent uh, duration in terms of uh, day and hour then for example let's say 100 days 23 hours then we need to say day to hour that means now i am representing 100 days 23 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds and 0 fractional seconds let's say i want to represent in terms of day hour and minute let's say i want to represent an interval in terms of 100 days 23 minutes let's say 50 23 hours and 50 minute then we need to say day to half minute so here we are representing the duration as 100 days 23 hours and 50 minute now let us see how to represent the duration in terms of hour minute and second that is 100 days 23 hours 50 minute and let's say 30 seconds then i need to say day to second so here we are representing a duration in terms of 100 days 23 hours 15 minutes and 30 seconds even we can represent the fractional seconds also let's say dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right see the default precision of the fractional second is 6 that's why the fractional part is rounded to 1 2 3 4 5 7 if you want to represent the entire value then we need to explicitly mention the precision let me mention the precision for second as 9 now you can see the entire value is displayed so in this example we just covered how to represent a duration in terms of a day day to hour day to minute day to second and day to fractional second now let us see how to represent a duration in terms of just hour because if our duration is less than less than a day then we can represent only in terms of hour now let us see how to represent the duration in terms of just hour i want to represent a duration of 23 hour so i'm just saying interval 23 hour from dual so in this case the duration is 0 days 23 hour 0 minute and 0 second let's say how to represent okay one more example instead of 23 if i'm just saying 100 hour so what oracle will do oracle will convert this 100 hour into 4 days 4 hours so every 24 hours will be converted into one day let's say 500 hour so 500 hour is converted into 20 days 20 hours right now let's see how to represent the duration in terms of hours and minute suppose i am saying 23 hour 20 minutes then we need to say hour to minute so here we are representing the duration in terms of like 0 days 23 hours 20 minutes suppose if i make it as like 100 hours then oracle will convert the 100 into 4 days 4 hours 20 minutes right now let me just make it as 23 hours 20 minutes now let us see suppose if i want to represent the duration in terms of hour minute and second let's say 23 hour 20 minute 30 second so let me make it as 30 second so we need to represent as hour to second so here we are representing the duration as 0 days 23 hours 20 minutes and 30 second even we can represent the fractional second also here let's say fractional second so by default the fractional second will be converted for 6 precision as i already mentioned if you want to increase it we need to specify the precision here one more very important point here uh, the the accepted values for uh, minute hour minute and second are like uh, 0 to 23 for hour it is 0 to 23 for uh, minute and second it is 0 to 59 for example uh, suppose i want to represent 65 minute we will get an error because minutes must be between 0 to 0 and 59 
let's make this as 45 minute and I'm just giving 40 second. So in this case, I'm saying hover to second. That means a duration of 23 hour, 45 minute and 40 second. So here I'm trying to give some other value, let's say 89. So we'll get an error saying that seconds must be between zero and 59. Only the first value will get rounded off. For example, here, this is a hover place. Here I can say 100, 100 will be converted. Let me make this as 39. So in this case, 100 will be converted into the number of days and the remaining will come as the hours part here, right? Now that we have seen how to represent the duration in terms of day and hour, now let us see how to represent the duration in terms of minute, hour, minute and second. Let's see one more example. So now I am going to say 23 minute. So here we represented the duration as zero days, zero hours, 23 minutes. Suppose if I want to represent the duration in terms of minute and second, we can say like that, let's say 23 minutes, 40 seconds. Then we need to say minute to second. Right now we mentioned the duration as like zero days, zero hours, 23 minutes. Suppose instead of 23 minutes, if I say 100 minute, what will happen is the 100 minute will be converted into one hour, 40 minutes, right? Now, uh, as I already told, we can even specify the fractional second also. Let's say, so now the fractional second will be converted into six precision. If you want to increase it, we just need to mention the precision here. Let me make it as nine precision here, right? So here we have represented the duration in terms of zero days, one hour, 40 minutes, 40 second, followed by a fractional second. Similarly, we can represent the duration in terms of seconds also. Let's say 23 second. So this will be represented as zero days, zero hour, zero minute and 23 second. So even here also we can represent the uh, fractional second also. Let's say six, seven, eight, nine. So here also we are saying the duration as zero days, zero hour, zero minute, 23 seconds. Now that we have seen how to represent a literal value in terms of day to second, now let us see a few more examples on how to do arithmetic and comparison operation on interval day to second data type. So as you can see in this example, I have declared three variables LV1, LV2, LV3. All three variables are of interval day to second data type. In the first variable, I have stored an interval of 51 minutes. In the second variable, I have stored an interval of 40 minutes. Let us do an arithmetic. Let us try to do an addition here. I'm trying to add the first and second interval and I'm just trying to store it in the third variable LV3. Now let us try to print the output of the third variable. Put underscore line. I'm trying to print the value from the third variable. Now let me execute the statement. Now you can see. 51 minute plus 40 minute is added. So the total will be like 91 minute. So the 91 minute is actually stored in the variable LV3, which is printed as like one hour 31 minute. Let us do a subtraction here. So I'm executing the statement. Now you can see 51 minute minus 40 minute. We are getting a, a difference of like zero hour 11 minute zero second. Now let us see one more example. I can even multiply uh, the value. I'm in this case, I'm trying to multiply the uh, first variable LV1 by multiplied by three. So now you can see 51 into three, the output is like two hours, 33 minutes. Even we can do a division here. LV1 divided by two. Now what happens is 51 divided by two, we will get as like 25 minutes, 30 second. Okay. So we can do the arithmetical operation. Let's see one example for comparison operation. So here also I have two variables LV1 and LV2. In LV1 interval day to second day variable, I have stored 50 minutes and LV2 variable I have stored as like 40 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compare the variable. If LV1 is greater, I'm just going to print LV1 is greater than LV2. Otherwise, I'm just going to print LV1 is less than LV2. Let me execute this program. As you can see here, it is printing LV1 is greater than LV2. So the learning here is that we can even do arithmetical and comparison operation similar to the number uh, data type in interval data types also. 
If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video.